Massive progress in the fight against COVID. That was the theme of the governor's latest coronavirus update as she outlined big changes for people across the state. More than half of the state has now moved into the less restrictive yellow or green levels. The state also announced New Mexicans no longer need to quarantine if they travel. Here's News 13's Brittany Bain. Dean and Jess, in just a month, New Mexico has really turned it around, going from almost all red to mostly yellow and green. However, even in that green category, there are still limits, and businesses like bars and movie theaters still cannot open. And today, the governor gave us a look at what's to come. I don't want folks to think that the green is where we end. The green says that we've done such a good job that we can begin to do other expansions as well. I don't have a name for it yet, but look for green plus coming to you soon. As for right now, the best a county can be is green and four are Harding, Union, Sierra and Catron. 15 counties are in the yellow, including the state's most populous counties, Bernalillo, Doña Ana, Santa Fe and Sandoval. Yellow means restaurants can now allow indoor dining at 25% capacity, patio dining at 75%, churches can now be a third full and people can gather in groups of 10. Dr. David Scrace describes this case curve map as great, which you can see is tanking rapidly. He says that is due to both COVID safe practices and more New Mexicans being able to get the vaccine. This week, we're able to say that 16% uh, uh, of, of the decrease we've seen in cases, 16%, we've seen a 16% decrease in cases as the result of the vaccine alone. DOH Secretary Dr. Tracy Collins says New Mexico is capable of giving out 50,000 doses of the vaccine a day, but they're only getting a shipment of 61,000 doses for all of next week. As for the nearly year long travel ban, it's about done. Starting tomorrow, New Mexicans who leave or visitors coming into the state, they're no longer required to quarantine for 14 days. Jess, back to you. The state does still recommend self-quarantining and getting a coronavirus test if you travel.